Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to jailbreak iOS 8.4. I have my iPhone 5S. I'm going to be jailbreaking here live for you guys. So let's jump right into the video. All right, guys. So like I said, I have my iPhone 5S here running iOS 8.4, and I'm going to be jailbreaking it live for you guys so you can follow along with the process. Also, to help you guys out, I've actually listed all of these steps I will be doing here on my Mac desktop. And you are going to have to follow these steps, and it should be pretty easy now that I've laid them out for you. So this does work for Windows and Mac, and there are a few things you actually have to do before you can jailbreak your device. So beforehand, you want to update your device to the latest firmware. So I've updated my iPhone 5S to iOS 8.4, uh, which is the latest version. If you don't know how to do that, go ahead and Google it. It's a very quick, easy thing to do. You're also going to want to back up your device so you don't lose any of your data. You want to back up to either iTunes or to iCloud. I backed up to iTunes so I don't lose any of my data here. It just makes sure that if something goes wrong with the jailbreak, you'll be able to have all of your data in the future. Next, you're going to want to download the actual jailbreak itself. So I've listed a Windows version and a Mac version link down in the description. You can go ahead and click whatever operating system you're using. Should work for both. I'm using Mac, so I've downloaded the Mac version. Go ahead and install the application just like you would install anything else. Finally, you're going to want to turn off Find My iPhone, your passcode, and your Touch ID. To turn off your passcode and your Touch ID, you go into the Settings application on your iDevice, and you go into Touch ID and Passcode. There's, a, there's an option to turn off your passcode and Touch ID. To turn off you Find My iPhone, you go into the iCloud section of your Settings app, and if you scroll down, there's an option to turn off Find My iPhone. So make sure you turn all that stuff off before actually jailbreaking. The jailbreak won't work if you actually have those things on. Finally, now we can actually get into the jailbreak once you've done those steps. So first, you're going to connect your device to the computer. As you can see, I've connected mine with the actual power cord here. Then you're going to go ahead and click Trust This Computer if you get a little pop-up on your iPhone. I didn't get that, but some people do. So go ahead and click Trust. Just ensures it'll work with the computer. And then you're going to go ahead and open the jailbreak tool. So the jailbreak tool I installed from before is Taik. Go ahead and open it up on your computer. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. You'll have a couple different options. You're going to see during jailbreak, we will install Cydia and 3K Assistant. Go ahead and uncheck 3K Assistant. Just leave Cydia on there. That's all you really need to jailbreak. And then go ahead and click Start. It's going to start jailbreaking. It's going to say, Jailbreaking, please be patient. Reading data, preparing jailbreak environment. And this is when you essentially just sit back and wait. It'll make your device restart and you'll actually be able to see your device being jailbroken. So in a few minutes here, mine will start actually jailbreaking and I'll let you guys know when that is. I'll hold it up to the screen. As you can see, mine still looks the same. It says it's uploading basic files to my device. Now, as you guys can see, it says it's entering the first stage and the second stage of jailbreak. So my device is actually restarting. It's officially booting back up again. It says 50% jailbreaking. And I actually got an error, guys. So it says my jailbreak has failed. I'm going to retry the same process. If this happens to you, then just go ahead and restart the process. You should be able to jailbreak it. It should work eventually. I've had some issues with my power cable, so it keeps saying it got disconnected. Um, but once the jailbreak, once that process is actually completed, you'll actually have Cydia here on your, on your iPhone home screen. Um, and all you have to do is go ahead and restart your device to ensure that it works. And then you can re-enable your Touch ID, your passcode, and your Find My iPhone, and Cydia will be on your home screen for you to jailbreak. So that's the process, guys. That's all it really is. Unfortunately, I did get an error. I'm going to retry it now in a few minutes. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, be sure to subscribe, rate, thumbs up, and favorite the video. I've got videos down there in the links and links in the description for you guys to follow my social networks and get paid iOS and Android apps for free. I'll be putting up more good content for you guys, so let me know what you want to see. And jailbreaking is one of my favorite things to do. So if you have questions, feel free to let me know. So thanks, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.